Hello everyone and welcome to Learn a Trade. I am Kevin Tate and today we are here at a location that has a Slurpee machine that is leaking. I'll try to show you the you can see some of the leakage on the side here and on the front and they have more leakage right over here on the other side mainly the leak is coming from this seal uh, the rear seal and this barrel right here on the floor barrel this is a floor barrel and um, the leak is coming from the rear seal that is in the back and then also um, Right over here, you can see there's a little condensation leakage right there on the side panel. Uh, that's something that can't really be helped as far as um, the condensation leaking. That, that happens when it goes into defrost mode mainly. So, I figured this would be a good opportunity to be able to go over a few things on the Slurpee machine as I go through it. So just give me a moment, let me get the camera set up and then I'm going to start by, um, I've already defrosted this barrel, I'm going to empty this barrel out so that I can get to the back of it and replace the rear seal. And also, hopefully you can see that pretty good but barrel number three also has an era R that's a return temp sensor era so I'll also have to replace the return temp sensor and then over here I've already removed the temp the return temp sensor this is the bad one and I'm gonna go ahead and replace that after I drain out that um, that barrel that's leaking and replace that seal. So for now, I'm gonna just show you, just go over once again, going into the uh, service menu. Going to hit your back arrow key or your forward arrow key, arrow key, and then you're going to go to until it says service menu. Then you press. You're going to press your blank. Your blank button on the first barrel uh, touchpad of the touchpad. Okay, and then that'll bring us into machine settings and. Right now, I'm going to go to uh, readouts, and I'm going to go to manual, on and off. Press the green button to go into manual, on and off. And side one is the side that I want to um, empty. So I'm going to hit the green button to go into side one. And then you're going to go to CO2 solenoid. And that's to turn on the CO2. You can see it, that it's off right now. So I'm going to press the green button and turn on the CO2 on that barrel. And then now I have CO2 going into this barrel. So I'm going to go ahead and empty out my product. Empty the product out. You can also turn on the beater to kind of speed it along a little bit. And as you can see, this this valve is sticking, so I'm going to clean that up. Also, I'm going to pour uh, spray some cleaner down there, possibly loosen this, and just to make sure that it's not sticking like that.
because that will cause leaks also. So usually what I'll do with this is I'll take my spray bottle with some cleaner in it and then spray it in there and then a little later on once I got the barrel emptied I'll open this up and see if I might have to replace the uh, plunger and the seals inside. But you have your CO2 on right now and then you just want to go ahead and empty out the barrel good because we're going to end up taking this face plate off I'm going to go ahead and open this this valve right here to see why it's sticking possibly uh, may have to change the seals if it's sticking too bad okay that's pretty much empty now I'm going to go ahead and turn off this barrel I'm going to turn off the CO2 and allow that valve to stay open for a minute so that all the CO2 comes out of that barrel then I'll dump I'll dump the rest of my product out it's a good thing to also check to make sure that that the store that the site has um, enough product so that you you know that after you empty the barrel out that you're gonna have product to replace it with I mean in, in this case we're gonna have to empty the barrel because it's that rear seal is leaking I'm just cleaning up a few things here Okay, and now I'm ready to start removing these these nuts off of the faceplate and then we'll be able to remove the faceplate and empty the rest of the barrel out and replace that rear seal. Yeah, they had a number of they have a number of issues going on here it's more than just a leak um, so I'm gonna try to go over as much as as possible on this video just want to get a little slotted screwdriver and then kind of wedge it between the back of that face plate and the machine. Give me a second. Get my other bucket so that I can catch the syrup as it comes out. going to pull out the beater bar this is the beater bar right here beater bar assembly put that down and then just reach your hand in and guide out that guide out that product okay so right now I'm attempting to uh, remove the rear seal just reach in with my hook you have to do it blindly so it takes a little time this is the hook that I use though it's a little rubber 
the seal that you may have seen before. I'll show it to you once I get it out so you know what it what it looks like. There it is. So I take my pick and I get through the rubber and then pull that rear seal. The rear seal is in facing this way. And you want to get your hook in there like like so and then just pull it out. And now I'm just going to get some water, some hot water and sanitizer, and then rinse and sanitize out this barrel before I put the new rear seal in. And then I'll reassemble this unit. Um, and by the way, that faceplate that I was trying to get the top piece off here, uh, that faceplate, for some reason, the this handle piece was um, cross-threaded in there so I ended up having to replace I'm gonna replace the whole faceplate assembly okay with a new nozzle as you can see this one closes back very well on its own so I'm gonna use that one instead okay now I have my sanitized rag just gonna run my sanitized rag through here just to be sure that there's no materials or anything left in that in that barrel the barrels going to be cleaned and sanitized well then you want to reach to the back and just wipe around that coupling motor coupling area and yeah, you can see right in there that's cleaned and sanitized now I can put my beater bar back in actually I'm getting ahead of myself I need to um, replace the the rear seal first this is the new rear seal that I'm going to put in there. I use a little bit of dial 111 lube to uh, put around the around the rear seal before I put it in. Just want to dab some on, spread it around the inside of that rear seal. Right around there. And around the back side there. And that helps for um, getting the rear seal off to change it during uh, PMs or maintenance. And it also helps to preserve the life of the uh, seal. So now I'm gonna put, put this seal back in. Just reach back. You gotta kinda do it blindly and feel around. And then once you got it around that coupling, you wanna go ahead and press in with your finger all the way around the, the seal to be sure that it has a good fit around that coupling let's see if I could should be able to see right back there is the seal around the coupling so that's in place. Now I can put my beater bar in place. The 
beater bar you want it to it just falls into that slot of the coupling in the back and then you just want to line it up so that it's straight up and down and then you can go ahead and put your put your uh, face plate back on this face plate also has a seal on it also right there I usually take a little lube beforehand and just go around it with the lube that helps to preserve the life of that seal also and then line up your face plate with the the barrel and then just press it in I'm gonna press it in now I'm gonna go ahead and put my washers back on put these Face plate nuts back on. I'm probably going to break this video down into a couple of different videos uh, just so that it's not too much all at once. So I'll probably probably um, end this one with the um, putting on this change in the rear seal and change in the face plate. And then I'll go back when I when I go to replace the um, temperature sensor on this barrel. I'll make that a separate uh, video in case you all want to check that out too. Because there's a few different issues on this unit and it'll be good for it, for you to see, see them uh, separately and then that way it's not, not kind of it's not going to be too much at all at once. Okay, now I'm ready to tighten all of my all of the nuts on the faceplate here. Okay, as you can see, the faceplate is back on. This nozzle is closing back correctly. I'm going to go ahead and press fill, the fill button right up here, and allow the machine to fill. The machine has to fill correctly, and then that, that way you can be sure that you can check to make sure that the rear seal is not leaking anymore, and we can be able to check our... Um, nozzle and as you can see this this is that vent pin that I always talk about you just want to pull out your vent a little bit to let out some of the air and then that will allow this barrel to continue filling so you just use your vent just to let out some air not a whole lot just a little at a time
I'm just going to check the check the bricks on this while I while I'm letting that fill. It's a good thing to check your bricks just to make sure that you have a good bricks mixture, good bricks bricks level. So I open the valve, let some of the product come out, then use my refract refractometer to read it. And we're right at 14 14 and a half on this, so that's a good setting. Just go ahead and let this complete filling. When it gets to this level, at this level, you want to go ahead and you can go ahead and turn on your beater motor right here and allow, allow it to circulate the CO2 and mix the CO2 and the syrup and the water um, to good. And then um, this will be full and ready to freeze down. Okay, that's that barrel is full now so I'm gonna go ahead and hit press off up top here and then I'm gonna press run and then that's gonna allow the barrel to freeze down and right now while that's freezing down I'm going to go ahead and hit back, and then I'm going to go to readouts so I can kind of see this is barrel side number one. So I'm going to hit the green, the green button so I can look at the settings. Okay, look at my readouts. I'm going to go over to my inlet temperature. You see my inlet temperature is at 32 degrees, still going down. So that's good. My return temp is 22. So we're gonna go ahead and let that freeze down, and then uh, we should be we should be good on this on this barrel as far as um, repairing the leak, replacing the faceplate, and replacing the rear seal. Okay, and we have this barrel, the rear seal is replaced, the faceplate is replaced due to an issue with the nozzle assembly that was sticking open, and that could have caused leaks also, um, and uh, now the barrel is frozen down, so as you can see, the product is coming out, product's coming out fine. The nozzle is shutting back off and the barrel is refilling properly. So that's what we have and um, this issue is all set. Um, I will do another video on uh, replacing um, a return temp sensor on, on this barrel at a later time. And um, I appreciate you all watching. That's all I have for this right now. Please feel free to go to our website, which is scrolling down below. And um, you can see, uh, go to our website from the link in the description and become a member, become a training member. And we go a lot more in depth on these machines uh, and through our membership training program. So feel free to go to our website at the link below and check that out i thank you all for watching i appreciate you and take care and stay blessed